that she saw the smoke bomb like start to go off and we just heard everyone say run. Breaking overnight, a gunman storms a bar packed with college students. I'm pretty sure I saw him and like I'll never get that picture out of my head. Several people are shot. The gunman is dead. We have a full report in 60 seconds. Breaking news that could seriously affect your morning commute. Sky 5 over I-64 at Boone's Crossing. This is in the Chesterfield Valley. Two semi trucks destroyed after crashing and catching fire. Now take a look at some of the video that we have from earlier here. You can see the flames initially on those MoDOT street cameras that we use to monitor all these different situations. And you can see how just intense this was. That's what Abby was talking about. And of course, it is slick. Our temperatures are below freezing. We'll talk to Chester in a little bit. Your alternate here, get off Airport Road, and that will take you past the scene. You the deadliest ever. This morning, 42 people have died in the so-called campfire, a record that no one wanted to break. And search crews fear that number will only rise today. Good morning, Allie and Rennie. The images coming out of California are absolutely devastating. This weather is one of the reasons why the fires are so bad. So guys, explain to us what's, what's going on. It is a bit slick on the roads as you head out the door, taking a live look at the drive along I-270 in Florissant. And Sky 5 is also in the air this morning. Here's a look at traffic moving right along on Interstate 44. That is near Kings Highway. Good morning to you on this Wednesday, February 7th. I'm Allie Corey. And I'm Ryan Dean. Some light snow and ice definitely blanketed the area overnight. Yeah, we do have team coverage for you to help you get to where you need to go this morning. Let's start with our Abby Larico. She is keeping an eye on the roads for us. Hey, Abby, good morning. We're moving forward. Uh, our team is 100% focused on fighting for working for the people of Missouri. That was Governor Eric Greitens earlier this month. In a one on one interview with Five on Your Side, the governor promised his affair and alleged blackmail was not distracting him from his work in Jefferson City. But then, well, this happened. This is Governor Eric Greitens' mugshot. It was taken moments after he was indicted for felony invasion of privacy. And this morning, the governor is once again insisting he did nothing illegal. Our team coverage begins this morning with our Abby Larico. She is live downtown with more on the charges and the governor's response. Abby, good morning. 20 days. That's how long we've been in a government shutdown, and there are no signs this morning that it's anywhere close to being over. All things are quiet this morning as we take a live look at the U.S. Capitol. As the shutdown wears on, it's getting even more complicated. So here are the top takeaways you should know heading into today. While you are sleeping, President Trump's tariffs on overseas metal began, and they're already having an effect here in the by state. We want to give you a closer look this morning on what exactly this means. So President Trump is imposing tariffs ranging from 10 to 25 percent on steel and aluminum. That is that is shipped from the European Union, Canada and Mexico. Now, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, he has already vowed retaliatory measures to this attack. And Mexico has promised it will retaliate with tariffs on goods, including pork, apples, and flat steel. We're going to talk now about Betsy Dirksen Londrigan. She was running for the U.S. House of Representatives, and she narrowly lost to Republican incumbent Rodney Davis. Well, how many of you watching Tissel right now can confidently say that you wake up each morning feeling rested and ready to just take on the day? Well, if you're shaking your head, absolutely not right now. You're not alone. One in three Americans do not get the recommended seven hours of sleep every night. And for some of you, napping could be the answer for you. But there is a bit of a science to it. You know, a lot of companies now, they have things called nap rooms or nap pods for employees to go and get that 15 to 30 minutes of shut eye. So I am going to go ahead and designate this guys as the five on your side nap room. Huh. And uh, I've been up since 1.30, so I think it's nap time for me. I'll send it back to you. I hope you set an alarm. There's more show to do, by the way. A different icy waterfall in the Metro East and it's not quite as pretty. Huge puddles sitting in the street after a massive water main leak in Cahokia. Now this is just one of several issues across the Bicade, and with more freezing temperatures on the way, you can bet there will be more of those water main breaks. Our Ryan Henson is live now with how you can help protect your pipes. Good morning, Ryan. Our Brandon Morano, who currently serves in the Air National Guard, sat down with 92-year-old Frank Clark. Now he was part of one of World War II's deadliest battles, but as you're about to see, that hasn't stopped him from living a full and upbeat life. 
St. Louis's number one morning newscast. It's 630. Welcome back to our special edition of Today in St. Louis. I'm Jen Sullivan in for Allie Corey this morning. Good morning, our Rindy Not, and what a morning it is. We're live at the zoo. Yes. The animals yeah, are up, are. having fun behind us, staring us down <laughs> from Giving inside us the, the evil tank. eye for making them get up so early. And yeah. protect us out behind the scenes. <laughs> Look at the audience we have on hand. Hello, Good morning, everybody. everybody. Hey. What's the temperature right there in the penguin exhibit? Like 50. You know, I, I was uh, told it was 30. like 45 degrees. I believe degrees. I was told it's in the 40s. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, Glory. in the that's, 40s that's, in here. That and sounds it feels really good right now. Like I'm it. going to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, what's really good, guys, is there's, I'm literally in the exhibit, so there are penguins actually walking around me. All right, I want to switch gears and take it out to Jessica quick. She is taking the trip from Defiance this morning into downtown with one of our five on your side viewers. Uh, it's, it's 90 miles uh, a day. Total. Wow, okay. Oh, wait, yeah. here he is. There he is. Hey! Yay, yeah, all Mark. right, Mark. The Today Show is next. <laughs> As always, we thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we thank Mark for being such a good sport. Well, there is no easy way to put this next story, so I'm just going to say it. Going to give it to you straight. Someone is going number two in the washing machines at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. Time now for today's Tissel Can't Miss story, and they say if you love someone, you should let them go. And if you hate someone, Name a cockroach after them. <laughs> now, we've shown you a lot of viral videos here on Today in St. Louis, but when our producers heard about this one, they knew it had to be in the show. Just take a look. Hey guys, Lucas, Allie, and Diesel Corey here. You're probably wondering what the heck we're doing from our couch right now. Well, we have some really, really exciting news that we've been hanging on to for quite a while. What? <laughs> it really has not been easy. So this morning, we are so excited to finally break the news. Diesel? No. Are you <laughs> Diesel's pregnant? What? We're, we're pregnant! pregnant. Oh. I knew it! <laughs> Yay! I was going to say something earlier this week, uh -huh. but you don't ever ask a woman if she's pregnant.